This is Mary at the Marriott TA, and I wanted to do a video here about my glue pot. I love my glue pot. I love it. You just have a, have something that you created, and and you use and you use and you use it, and you know it. But look, I have a hard time getting the lid off and on because I've got all this gunk build up around here. What this is, is a napkin. I collaged a napkin on here, a table napkin. I think I was following Nikki and Eileen. And I really, I, I but uh, look, it, you know, I can't even get this off and I'm not gonna even try a sharp knife. However, tonight I thought, what if I keep this with my heat gun and loosen that glue up with my heat gun. And so I tried a little bit and it seemed to work. I'm going to try a little bit more right here and now. We'll just do it in, in segments. And I think it's going to work. It's a lot, yeah, it's a lot softer. But oh, Look, look at the, look at this. It is really stuck in there. I can get my, I can get my palette knife in there, but I'm going to heat this up a lot. Now you may want, want to do this. I mean, this is a pickle jar. Uh, there are other pickle jars in this world, but it's not my pickle jar. <laughs> I'm not ready to throw it out yet. I want my I want my glue pot cleaned up. And so I am just going to I think I'm getting it yeah heated enough that I can get my palette knife in there. Yeah. Here it comes. Probably been my palette knife. <laughs> Let's just leave my palette knife there for a bit. probably should put silicone gloves on because I don't look at that. If I can just get it loosened up enough to pull. Let's get my pliers out. I just want to get all that gunk. And I guess my tip is to, if you have something like this and you're not ready to throw it out, try your heat gun. I mean, look at this is all if I can't pull it out with my pliers. Look at that. Now I hope I don't break my jar. <laughs> yeah. This is doing the trick for me. This is doing the trick for me. You might want to keep some a wet towel or some handy wipe or something close by. And I'm really not putting that much heat to it. I'm just softening up that glue. I'm just softening it up. Ew. So it's pulling off of my, cleaning it off of my jar here. Now, I don't know how much of this I want to pull around here. Around in here. I'll have to pull some off because it's... It has to close. Yeah, I might cut that with my old scissors. These are my old scissors. I don't worry too much about ruining them. for art. Uh, let's 
that's not helpful. Oh, my pliers again. Yeah. And I have to clean this up a little bit more. But it's, it's pulling off. You know, um, part of my problem is, is I do a lot of pick tans and bingo journaling, a lot of art prompt games where you're working fast, you know, and you brush that glue off and yeah. Yeah, almost there. We're almost there. And, you know, I'm only doing this because I love my glue pot. <laughs> I love my glue pot. It just means a lot. Look at that. Look at that. No wonder I couldn't get anything closed. Now, let's clean up the room here. I can. Oh yeah, I'll be able to. Just kind of clean this portion up in here. Like I said, I love my blue pot. I'm not ready to trade it in for a new one. <laughs> no, no, it's my old friend. I don't throw my old friends away when they get disabled. I just help them out a little. Tell them I love them. <laughs> oh, Mary's making an analogy with her. The blue pot story. The blue pot story. Now, I don't know how this will work on other jars and containers. This is just an old pickle jar. This is just an old pickle jar that we put in the dishwasher. And I collaged a, a table napkin around it. I can hear you guys say, next time, Mary, don't let your glue fall down the rim of your jar. Clean it off before you close it. Put Vaseline on it. Put Vaseline on it. I can just hear you all say, Mary, I put Vaseline along the rim of mine before I close it up. <laughs> and I'm going, but you're not playing pick 10 or best spin bingo with Beth Schuler. this off a little now. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
it's pretty good. Might do a little bit more in here. Don't be stubborn. Yeah. Pretty clean. It's not perfect. And I don't see a lot in here. Let's see. Look. That closes so easy now. Oh, I'm very happy with it. I still my still my old friend. It's still my old friend. Look at that. This look at what was <laughs> look at that glue that was along the rim there. I was all along the rim of my glue jar. Now I can just... Very nice, Mary. That was my hint. That was my tip. So if you have a... <laughs> if you have a... Yeah, I imagine this would help... Would work with paint, can, paint cans too. Because glue is mostly an acrylic. You know, you can melt your acrylics that way. Why you would want to, I don't know. But, yeah, I know why I wanted to do that. I'm going to throw that away. That was the end of it. Um, I will be streaming tomorrow morning. So, I guess I better turn off the camera and turn off the lights and get some sleep so I can get up at 4, four o'clock. Thank you for watching and go clean your Google Pot. Go clean your glue pot if you have time. Look, I need to clean my... <laughs> I'd love it, though. <laughs> All right. Bye.